Hi, I'm Sean with SparkFun Electronics. We just got a hold of a Microsoft Band, which was released pretty recently. So we figured, let's do a teardown for you. First thing we notice when we get this out of the box, there is a purple sticker underneath the watch face. So if we pull that off, it looks like some sort of connection port. And it definitely says, plug me in to get started. If we go back into the box, there's a cable, check that out. It definitely looks like a proprietary connector. So don't be reaching for your currently existing USB connectors or your USB cables to connect to this watch. Looking at the watch, it looks like it has a lengthwise screen, so it sits across your wrist, so it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. There are a couple of sensors at top from what I could see, and two buttons on the side, and a sensor on the bottom that looks like it reads your pulse from your wrist. Best I could tell, it's gonna be infrared. Supposedly, according to Microsoft, this watch is capable of monitoring your heart rate, seeing how much you run or walk. It has a GPS built in, so you can get your coordinates, how many calories you've burned. It's also capable of tracking your sleep, so I'm guessing that's through pulse or something else. I'm not too sure yet. There's a UV sensor on it, so you can see how much ultraviolet rays you're getting throughout the day. The watch is capable of notifying you when you have texts or calls or anything from your calendar, and this is all tied to your phone through Bluetooth 4.0. You can also get updates from Facebook or Twitter, other social media. Take a look at the weather, and it's also got a built-in stopwatch, as any good watch really should. From what I can see, there are two, four screws on the band that we can start with. It looks like some sort of Torx wrench. Getting the watch apart was a bit of an involved process. From what we can tell, the whole thing was molded in a type of plastic called elastomer. And the only parts that we could unscrew and take apart were the battery covers. After that, everything had to be sliced open with an X-Acto knife, hammered with a chisel, a little bit of Dremel action to get through some rivets, and pried apart with some pliers to finally get to the insides. Once we did that, we could tear apart the PCB and the LED screen so we could look at what's on the inside. The main CPU that we could identify is a Freescale Kinetis K24, which is a 32-bit ARM Cortex M4 processor. Next to it is some RAM. From what we could tell, this is two megabytes of static RAM. When we flip it over, we see a couple of other things here. The big one over here is some storage. That's a Macronix 64 megabytes of non-volatile flash storage. And then over a little bit, we have our Bluetooth, which is an Atheros Bluetooth 4.0 chip. Back on this side, there is a GPS module. There's no identifying markings on it though. That was a fun teardown. It's always cool to see what's on the inside of these things. Click subscribe if you want to see more of our videos.